scary body is a fossil. Maybe we can make a ton of money off of it and sell it on the black market or to a museum or something. I don't know. Hey everybody, this is Leobox. It's just in time for another episode of Let's Play Banjo Tooie. In the last episode, uh, we did a few things, got our last ability, um, went to the taxi pack for Banjo, and got a jiggy from a sick chop from a sick uh Whatever, Loch Ness Monster Source, I can't think of the name. But it's funny because when I was a kid, I wouldn't be able to tell you any of the names of any of the dinosaurs. You know, like any other kid would. <clears throat> but right now, I just can't think of any of the names. Uh, but anyway, in this episode, we're going to be, uh. We're going to hopefully be getting more, uh, dinosaur. We're going to be finding more of, uh, Terry's children. Um. And hopefully, we won't be getting killed anytime soon. Um, by the way, one thing you may have noticed when I'm traveling on that swamp, if you hug the wall, your chances of survival actually increase tremendously. Um, I, I, uh, later on, later on there's a level that has, has a lot of that in, in the area that you're, that you, uh, enter into the level in, which is not the main hub, which is not the main hub, by the way. Um, if you know if you know what level I'm talking about, that's that's fine. Um, uh, how do I get, how do I get up? Uh, I'm gonna have to trick this one, aren't I? Be a little tricky about this one. Yay! You made it across. Um, anyway, the whole first area has pretty much nothing but that around it, and I got through the whole area without using a. I still messed up there. Um, without using the waiting boots. Just by hugging the walls. And I think I only got eaten like three times. If I remember correctly. It was, <coughs> it was a long time ago, but... It not be that long. Anyway, as, as you can see here, we're flying with Kazooie. And we get the same functions. We get to fire the eggs. Uh, those wrong buttons. We get to press B to do that. We just can't do the ground pound and that's it. But that's not even that big of a deal aside from when we do have to land. Um, so yeah. Uh, right up here we get this egg. Let's hatch it. Isn't that just adorable? Dragon hatching a pterodactyl egg. <laughs> you would have never known that. <coughs> uh, I don't know why I'm coughing a lot right now all of a sudden. Um, anyway, while we're over here, we're going to be getting this, uh, honeycomb piece, and finally we got it. That thing has been bugging me since we entered this world. It's just been sitting there, and I've been wanting to get it, and it's just been bugging me, and, yeah, you know what? Instead of walking all the way back, we're going to get a second source. Yeah, I, I went there. <laughs> it's a lot, it's probably a lot faster than traveling all the way back there, so, yeah. You can thank me. <laughs> you can thank me later. Um, and we're also back at full health, so yeah, it gives me an excuse to kill myself so I can get full health. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Not in real life. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, let's see. What I'm going to do next is I think I'm going to go ahead and help these, tri these uh, Triceratops out. Because I think we have everything we need to help them out. Um... No, yeah, blue, we need, we need the train station open for at least one of them. And for the other to come back, so. Actually, I just thought I should probably, uh. I should probably go get that. Get the runaway one. Get the runaway first, and then come back here. And then start doing all that. Yeah. Yeah, um. So let's see, where's that? I think it's over there. Ouch. Come, come back here, Tegasaurus. I just want to hug you. Okay, enough of the hugging jokes. Um, <coughs> um, so yeah, let's uh, head back. Let's head into the train station. Actually, I think this is the first time we've entered the train. That's not the train station. That's not the train station. Where's the train station? Tell me where the train station is! Or, or, or I'll blow you up. Um, there. Die! Damn it! Figures. The one, the one guy, the one caveman in all of 
wheelchair to activate his immune to explode, explosives, and he's at his guard duty. Actually, that makes a lot of sense in hindsight. Um, <laughs> anyway, my little mini freak out there. Hey, look, a Minjo. Okay, you know what? No. No, really. Tell me how you really feel. Don't hold back. Okay, uh, ouch. Okay, you know what? There. Tango Burgers. They're like Bronto Burgers, except they're not... Except, uh... Except Bronto Burgers are... Are, uh... Trademarked. <laughs> By uh, by Rock Donald. Is that, is that what is that what they called it in, in the Flintstones movie? Is that, or did they even have a McDonald's thing in there? I know McDonald's had a huge promotion thing for them with their toys. <laughs> but yeah, I love the show a lot better than the movie. <laughs> um. Anyway, <laughs> enough. Uh, Talking, I guess. Uh, right here is the uh, brought, probably brought Chuffy up here. Um, I believe the triceratops. I believe the triceratops we just we got way way back in which war. Yeah, there we go. There, there she is. Oh, well, that's weird. Oh, mama, won't be too mad at me. And there's a little. Yeah, my Bluetooth device is messing up. That's. I think that's why I, I'm not able to get my uh, Wii, Wii remote synced up properly. <coughs> um. But yeah. Anyway. Oh, we're cleaning out the stalls night for a month as punishment. That's uh, that's wrong. Okay, so we're gonna need, we're gonna be needing a uh, Chuffy here for the next thing we want to do. Um, I think. I'm considering whether or not I want to do that last, or if I want to do the other thing last. Um, this is a tough one to decide, though. Just kind of come up. Uh, on the on the one chance we're already here, I might as well. Um, I'm gonna actually know my way there now, <laughs> uh, so you won't see me trying to freak out any or trying to blow up any explosion-proof cavemen. Uh, yeah, I think I'll, I'll, go, I'll go ahead and do this one for us. Um, what you need, and why is my voice cracking all of a sudden? <clears throat> what you need here is you need Banjo and his taxi, and his, uh, taxi pack. Um, I believe it's the sick one over here. Yeah. You just pick her up, or him, whichever one. I always tend to associate Triceratops as female because of, uh, Land before time. <laughs> anyone else? Remember, anyone else? Uh, remember that movie? Not, and I'm not talking about the 13, 12 or 13 sequels, crappy ass sequels. I'm talking about the original, the good one, the one that Don Bluth drew or wrote or whatever, it, whatever his part was. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was a great movie. <laughs> Um, and we're going the wrong way again. We went to the explosion proof caveman, which I'm still trying to think how to get rid of this guy. I think I need to get rid of the, uh, all the rock, all the, uh, rock armor guys, whatever they're called. I can't remember. I can't seem to remember the name for some reason. I, I remember this rock, but I can't remember anything else. Um, so anyway, what we need to do with this guy, with this little guy, is, uh, take him into this, uh, Train compartment. Yeah, I believe we can just set him anywhere. Um, nope, wrong button. <laughs> and he just kind of pops himself into the corner or herself. Actually, I think it's a she with those with the way those eyebrows are. Cause you don't you don't normally see eyebrows that kind uh, in that kind of way for uh, men. Um, well, unless they're, you know, <laughs> which isn't, which isn't a problem if you are, I mean, that's, that's cool if you are, it's just, yeah. <coughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, this one went off 
of awkwardness. Um, uh, so that Walmart the other day. Oh boy, that's a great that's a great opener for the story. Um, but honestly, this isn't one of those weird news stories you'd hear you'd hear about Walmart. Um, but I actually found these uh, prime steak flavored potato, potato chips. Um, they're actually not that bad. I thought I. Uh, no, oh, well, my dad bought them because I don't have any money of my own to spend. Yeah, no, I'm poor. I'm poor, jobless. What do you expect? <laughs> I'm actually. Yeah, we got we got. I was gonna I was gonna try it out. He he didn't sound interested. I figured he would have been interested in, in at least trying them. Um, oh, that was too far. That was too far. There we go. There we go. Argo shape of the pear. But still one of us left. And I think I know what that one uh, that one is. So we'll be dealing with him mm, we'll be dealing with him next after we're done with this. Uh ow, I almost I am so glad that caught that caught me. The game actually realized I was going the wrong direction. <laughs> That's kinda cool that, when that happened. Um come on, there we go. Okay, so what we're we gonna be doing next? Um, if you if you remember, we got a globo in the Isle of Hags. Uh, we're actually gonna be taking that globo to Mumbo right now. Um, by the way, Humbo's globo is the mega globo in the in the world map. So, so uh, in case you're wondering what, in case you're wondering that, that was the mega globo and the dragon thing with her. Yeah. So anyway, um, what we need to know is. Go find go find Mumbo. Unfortunately, it's in the same section as the cliff top, so that shouldn't be too hard. Um, you see the Mumbo pad right there, so that should kind of give you a hint of what we're gonna be doing to this poor little Triceratops. Yeah. <coughs> um, but anyway, uh, let's see here. We went ahead, not that way, not into the pits of hell, <laughs> or uh, Truffy's engine. You know, same thing, pretty much. Um, but anyway, what we want to do now is we want to, we want to get, uh, go up to Mumbo and get him to see if this, see if this shaman can pour, pour any of his magic into this, into this dinosaur and healer. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yay, full health. Um, so yeah, we just go ahead and talk to him. Welcome again, Bear Bear. Yeah, blah blah. We got a Globo. Something, 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 something. And done. <laughs> sure, we need all the help we, get, we can get. Of course we do. Anyway! <laughs> yeah, this really kind of makes you wish you could just skip to one help, yes, and just give him the Globo and stuff. It's fun the first. It's fun the first few times, but after a while it gets kind of boring, <laughs> <coughs> or kind of repetitive. There we go, not boring. Actually, um, um, hey, let's let out. Let's electrify this guy. <laughs> oh, shock therapy never hurts. Um, anyway, we just kind of step here. The only use for Mumbo in the world map. Heal, six Styros Castoris. I'm not even sure if I pronounced that right. Thoracosaurus? Strachosaurus, maybe? I don't know why this, I don't know why this go, don't go ahead and use Triceratops. Uh, oh, actually, I guess it's, yeah, I know, well, actually, you know, come to think of it, there are, uh, I know like, Two or three different types of triceratops they found. And the normal, the regular triceratops is one of the three horns. And, that, and I guess that one is a completely different type because it's got the crown. I guess, is that a crown? A mane? Or, not a mane. Not a mane. A mane would have been that has hair, I guess. Um, like the crown instead of the two horns. I think it's pretty cool. So I guess, uh, yeah, I guess it would be a strachosaurus. Oh, 
You know, it's been years since I actually studied dinosaurs or been even remotely interested in dinosaurs. I, I moved on to dragons pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, if you couldn't tell, I have an, obses I have an obsession with dragons. <laughs> Particularly because I love Kazooie's dragon form. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway. <laughs> um... It's got, actually, it's kind of funny because I have no interest in playing Skyrim despite the fact that it's, that it's got dragons in it. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not kidding here either. I have like absolutely no interest in Skyrim. I know, I know it's like sacrilege among gamers in general, but still, it's just... The, the Elder Scrolls games do... The, this is something about the Elder Scrolls games that, that turn me away from them. I don't know what it is. I'm not, I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not saying they're bad games. They're, Perfectly cool. They're, they're cool games. If you enjoy them. That's more power to you and everything. Um, it's just for me. It's something about them doesn't work, which is kind of odd because I'm in love with the Fallout games uh, that Bethesda has done. Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Though I haven't had a chance to play New Vegas yet. Um, in fact, I just got. I just uh, last night got done with uh, Arkham City and uh, the Bat with Batman Arkham City. And uh, I gotta tell you. Without giving anything away, the ending is. I really didn't expect it. I really didn't expect them to go that to go that 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 direction. Um. Anyway, we got this Triceratops healthy now. Yay! We got one more left, and then uh, I think I'm gonna kill the last rock guy, and then I think that'll be the end of this episode because uh, we're already at 17 minutes. <coughs> but yay! Thanks for healing my sick child. That'll teach him not to wash his claws before dinner. <laughs> I, I gotta tell you, it's just those it's not little bits of humor they put into this game. <laughs> Even if it is like completely head slapping moments, like that, like that one there. It's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't believe it went that way. They went that far, or not that far, that uh, that way. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That Minjo was yellow when we entered this place. How did he turn from yellow to black? Well, of course, the Minjo. I'm just, I'm just warning, that's kind of a little weird. And he was also red when we entered, first entered here before we left, but then I'd expect him to change the color randomly each time you leave, but... Oh boy, my mind just kind of got hurt there a little bit, trying to figure this out. <laughs> yeah, go figure what else is new. Um, anyway, so now, now what we need to do, we need to find Mumbo. Uh, but before we do that, I think because, uh... Yeah, actually, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do real quick here is... Uh, not this way. Uh, we actually want to go just this way. I'm going to go ahead and, get, and take to the air so we can get a little bit of, uh... Actually, a little bit of the view of this area, and then, uh, like I was saying, oh, again. Is it, is it a bad habit for me to say, to, for me to do that? Probably. Um, yes, yeah, so we can get the last of the rock guys. Um, Mike, I'm curious to see if this will work. Well, this idea of mine will be... Yay! Rock nuts, that's it. I like to forget rock nuts. Yay, we got the jiggy! <laughs> oh, that's right, you can't get jiggies with those guys, I forgot. <laughs> that makes things a lot easier. <laughs> I actually, I actually did not mean to push that button at all. I meant to actually do the ground pound. Um, but anyway, here are Mumbo. So <laughs> let's go ahead and switch to Mumbo and get our sixth jiggy of this world. Wow! Wow, that's a we got quite a few this episode compared to the last episode already. Oh, that's episode only got one jiggy anyway, so. <laughs> uh, did we? Yeah, we only got one jiggy. The first 
one we just we got three. Yeah, as you can tell, these, these videos get, these, uh, worlds are getting kind of bigger and bigger, bigger and longer, excuse me. Um, which by the way, speaking of, uh, worlds, we will be, we will be, after we're done with this world, we will be returning to, uh, Glitter Gulch, to, uh, see, I think we can go to, to Wumba's Wigwam, and get around it, and get around quickly. Uh, we will be going back to Glitter Gulch Mines and finishing up, finishing up the last jiggy we got there, because we... Because all we needed from that was the, uh, spring step shoes. Um, so yeah. With that, with those, we can finish up Glitter Gulch. Um, which you are, we still can't finish. Uh, don't think we can. And Jolly Roger Lagoon, I think. We, yeah, we still need the... I think that's next level where we get that ability, too. I think. Um... Again, I'm not, you guys probably have noticed that I don't seem to talk about this stuff until after we get them, uh, primarily to avoid spoil spoilers for those who haven't played the game. So yeah, if you know, if you haven't played the game, you're wondering why I'm not calling it by name, that's why. <laughs> Trying to avoid spoilers. Uh, but anyway, I believe this will be the last of Triceratops we need to save. <coughs> Ubanaka. I can't thank you enough. Please, accept this shiny thing I acquired when I trod on one of those Unga Bungas. Yay, Mumbo passed shiny thing to Baron Bird. Um, yeah. Oh, and by the way, your bill for, uh, your kid's health, that'll be like six hundred... Six hundred dollars. Per child. Hey, I'm a, hey, I'm a, hey, I'm a witch doctor. What do you expect? <laughs> um, actually, I don't know. Is that is that a is that the normal price for a doctor's appointment? I don't know. I, don't know. I haven't been to nearly enough doctors in my life. Um, all I know is that med is that medical expenses, at least in America, anyway. I know I know all you all you uh, countries with with healthcare don't know don't know how. Uh, how expensive we can be here, um, and you're probably and you're probably wondering because of that why we don't why we don't really like healthcare. But uh, just in my, in my personal opinion, this is just a personal opinion. If you have a different one, that if you have a different one, even if you're American, British, whatever whatever country you're from, I can't think of any at the moment. Um, except except for Fr except for French. I'm I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, in my, in my opinion, I, the main problem with uh, health, the main problem with healthcare is that you end up having to pay more taxes for it, and you get well, you get free, yeah, of course, but then you're also paying for other people. And yeah, I think that's why a lot of us Americans don't like it because we we don't want we don't want to pay for this person when we don't even know them or something, and yeah, or we don't want to pay for this person who doesn't have a job, for example. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we don't. Yeah, they don't want to pay for me. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of I have a weird way of thinking because you think you think with me not having a job at one at one. Uh, anyway, that's uh, that's starting to get into politics. Let's uh, <coughs> it's in the politics. That's in the political talk right here now. Um, I'm gonna go, and let's go into the episode off in general for next, for here anyway. Uh, so the next episode will be. Knocking, knocking the rest of the uh, eggs is still, I believe, just the one we have to get that we can't get. But we will be try. I will be trying to uh, find a way in there first of all. Um, but more importantly, there's a cave I've been I'm looking for uh, somewhere along up somewhere along up here that I can't seem to find. We're we'll trying to find that one too. Um. I know it's not a dream because I didn't. So I found it the other day on my practice fall. Yeah. Anyway, in, anyway, until then, I'll see you guys later.